All right, I'm back. I'm going to talk about the uh, ammo. And by the way, that was, well, it's real hard to say that name, but it was H E P T I. Hold on. What world? H E P A T I C. Hepatic? Yeah, I guess that's who it was. Hey, your strange name or strange eBay handle, but that was excellent. Uh, and this is what I got with it right here. Yeah, real fast shipping. I got this, I sat up and ordered this Saturday night. And uh, it shipped to me quick like, real quick like. I got it today. And the other amazing thing that I got today, I'll show you in just a minute. Here. And I did this on Saturday evening too. I was sitting around here thinking, but uh, anyway, I'll talk about that in a minute. I pre opened this a while ago, but it got here early. This is a bad boy. SGAMO.com. That's where I got this from. Uh, we're going to look at it. Uh, some of it I don't need to crack it all open. What I picked up was. Uh, oh, what I huh. Man, it feels this way. <laughs> Let it fall out. And you don't want to talk about fast. Now they really process it fast. Cause I ordered this somewhere around six, seven o'clock in the evening. Probably about yeah, it was about six o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock in the evening on Saturday. And uh, they processed the order. Yeah. Monday morning, and it was here. Today, as a matter of fact, right at 12 o'clock, just before 12, just before lunchtime. Well, so a day and a half, really, between uh, paying and uh, getting it, if you wanted to look at it that way. You know, that's a pretty good way to look at it. And what I got was 400 rounds, and I calculated this out. I got it roughly when you figure your shipping and everything in, I'll show you. Another place to go to, but uh, about 32 cents is what I paid. Yeah. Which still is pretty good because each one of these boxes right here, Walmart's, uh, I think it was $40. I think it was. And that's, that's woo. <laughs> and then you can't ever find it. Never find it. Let's check one out. So, I did some internet searching, and you can find that uh, going to uh, Gunbot. Look on Gunbot, you'll find it. You'll find it. Hang on. It's got a real good pack like this, too. I'm talking about it's 16 pounds. And uh, the listing was for 200 rounds of ammo. Well, if, if you could buy a bunch of these little bad boys up, you could really save a bunch of money. I mean, a bunch of money, because it works out to uh, 25 cents a round if you bought plenty of them. Bought enough. Oh, come here. Give me a pair of scissors. Plenty of boxes. So you have to, like, get a scope up and down through there and find out who's got the best deal and what is really a good bullet. And what you want to put up and stock somewhere. There we go. Okay, now we're back. When I met Betty, I met her on the pretenses of also having, uh, I needed stuff to go with her. And actually, I had her built. 
guy built it just the way I wanted it. And I didn't complain. But I wanted him to put the sights on, but he didn't want to put the sights on. So, But he figured out, and he threw extra, uh, extra ammo in. That's what he did. Mm -hmm. And I really hate these things. Uh, these are clips. Well, bandoliers is what I was always heard of them as bandoliers, but they're clips. And you shove these down through the top of your SK. Of course, I didn't have an SK. It was uh, M something American gun. I was staying away from Chinese. I should have bought Chinese. I'd have been better off. <laughs> or, you know, Russian back then, a long time ago. But anyway, the reason I don't like them is they. They snap when you have to uh, get the shell off. That little spring snaps, and it's a little scary. All right, that's a fairly decent shot. Uh, as you can see, it's it's been uh, sealed right there, so this part's good, but up here is not good. There's no sealing around it. So I'm thinking, you know, this is possible some of uh, the... Uh, excess ammo or overstock ammo from the Chinese and uh, pre-war pre -war, pre -war, cold war mm -hmm. and then also got these right here with it which these are hollow points and I haven't really checked them out a little bit so I can't do it right. y'all watching I can get them out this way These are hollow points. I need to go through them, check them out. But these are hollow points, and they're uh, slack. They have slack on them, or whatever you know, coating. And they're not sealed, but it's got a date and everything on it. And I can't read it. Uh, three S five, maybe I don't know. <coughs> mm. But anyway, I looked up and started checking out the wolf ammo, the Tula ammo and everything. And well, I figure if I'm going to be doing any shooting and anything really and truly, um, it won't be for a while. So, um, those are pretty good ammo, I guess. I really don't know. I haven't investigated them yet, but... Just the thought of uh, moisture getting in them really worried me. Because I'm not going to kick through a bunch of these rounds. There you go. Tiger. Now, you can see it's, it's been uh, sealed here and sealed here. Yeah. Which means I can put these up and I have to worry about them, really. It's a slack case. I'd have to look it up and tell you about what it really is. but. I think that's a better ammo to have right there. I mean, they're all going to be steel case. You pay a little bit more for uh, brass, but hmm. I don't know. But anyway, my next little venture is is I need me a few of these, a few more of these. Is what I mean. I mean, I could have got all kind of deals the way I wanted them, but they just didn't want to build the gun the way I wanted it. So I took the gun and uh, it was a little lesser deal. And I added my shit. The main thing was to make, make sure that it had uh, side mounts for sights, I mean, for another rail. Because I'll probably end up changing the four stock right here for sure. I mean, Tapco is a good one. It's nice and everything, but I'll probably change it you know, later. Not nothing, no time soon. Because I'm going to want a rail on the bottom and a rail on the side. I already know. You know yeah, that's what I want. This little booger here will be sided in. Uh, I got that enough. A better one. It wasn't the cheaper of the, all of them, but I got a better one laser sight for it. 
so I'd be able to sight it in, zero it in perfect. And so the iron sights are accurate. I mean, this little bugger here is right on it. I shoot low. I mean, if I was actually shooting at a board, you'd see my shots, but everything is right in front of the cam below it just a little bit. So all I got to do is just adjust up. But anyway, uh, that's what I think about these bullets. And if you look and compare them yourself, I think that Tiger has a better deal. And the reason for that is, and I, I calculated it all out. I went through you know, each one of the ads. You know, you can get them where it says uh, 25 cents a round. And then you look at the box, and you're only limited to a number of like maybe 100 rounds, which would be uh, five boxes. And uh, then you figure the shipping. So that really gets you right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, instead of paying and just getting uh, 200 rounds, just that one thing, because the shipping kicked it up to $12, I calculated in another one with it, and that brought it to uh, just two more dollars for the shipping, which that's beneficial, which kept them, there's roughly now 400 rounds is into 128 30 something uh, you're looking at 32 cents a round so I just say 29 129 is 32 25 it's, it's 32 and a half cents a round that's what that is and you can store it it's long periods of time good stuff I mean look in a lot of these places if you you gotta look at the ammo I mean really check it out these I didn't have to I mean they Betty was uh, already in self-protect mode. She was ready. Yeah. And these, I'm pretty sure I got about 20 rounds in here, maybe. I never did check the capacity of each one. <clears throat> but I know that I don't want to uh, load them down with 30 rounds. I mean, I'm sure I can... I'd rather have 25 in there. 28, you know, it's still got tension, a lot of tension on the spring. And you, as you pull them out, you get less tension on that spring and they start moving better. So, in the long run, uh, those polymers are probably better, you know, for right now action. <laughs> you know, but I looked you know, and they weren't sealed. You know, unless I'm, I'm getting at a different place, I don't know. But in a moment, I'll show you where I got them. It's a better deal than how I found them. I think it's one of them secret circuit sites. <laughs> Coming back in. There we go. So I didn't even get that many, I don't think. There's one. So I got uh, two, four, six. Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, 18, 19, and that one would probably have been, <laughs> it's not a uh, hollow point, 20 rounds, mm. substitute, 20 rounds, <laughs> mm. I think uh, that's all I'd put in mine, would be 25, and I want me about six or eight of them on bad boys already ready mm-hmm because I was checking out on the tube and you can make a kit that uses uh, your grip your hand grip and boy this little bad boy is automatic call it a bump gun yep alright I'm real happy with all that I'm impressed. Right, I sure am. I'll load some here in a little while, but pretty warm. Truck's running real good. Put that uh, new distributor in. I need to back it up a tooth, but I'm waiting on that little process. There you have it, guys. That's um, what I think. I think that these right here, you can tell the difference in the casing right here. Actually, uh, maybe. There. You can see it up through here. There's a good one right there. Yeah. 
Uh, production run from a long time ago. Uh, Chinese, probably. Dirty shit. I got some other stuff coming in. I've got, uh, well, I wanted me some uh, cleaning for the mouth. <laughs> the last cleaning. Sure. Alright, now I'll show you the uh, stuff. Hold on.